Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here and welcome to my 100% full game walkthrough for Donut County. We're going to save ourselves the introduction here. We're going to jump straight into the game by pressing new game and then pressing on the window in order to start. Now as soon as you start, you will be on your phone and there is a missable achievement or trophy to quack 100 times and you can quack by clicking the little duck icon. Now you can't just spam it because you do have to wait for the guy to reply to you. So this does take around two or three minutes. Just keep tapping the button whenever you can. All right, so now as we're doing this, welcome to the guide. As you can see, it's about an hour and 15 minutes and it is one entire playthrough of the game, including all cutscenes, loading times, and everything you can possibly miss. Donut County has 20 achievements and trophies, including a platinum and 1000 gamer score that you can attain in about one to two hours. And a lot of them are missable, but there is also level select should you need it. The game did release in late December 2018 on the Xbox, although it has been available for a couple of months on other platforms. Additionally, the game right now is $12.99, but obviously there is the potential for it to go on sale in the future. And overall, it's actually a pretty fun game. I had a lot of fun going through it, trying to figure out the puzzles and just playing it in general. It has a pretty good uh, gameplay loop and the physics are well done. And it is a very different game for those who might be unfamiliar. It's basically like a Katamari Damacy game or Damachi. I don't, I'm not really sure how people pronounce it nowadays. Um, but nonetheless, uh, you're basically a hole in the ground and you try to swallow things up. As you swallow them up, the hole grows bigger so you can swallow up bigger items. And your goal is to basically clear the map out of items. Alright, so at this point, just keep tapping that duck icon until the achievement or trophy unlocks for quacking a hundred times, and I will join you back in just a moment. All right, so once it does unlock, you are now free to press the reply button to actually start the conversation. And you do have to finish the conversations in this game in order to exit out of your phone or exit out of the dialogue or cutscene. So just keep replying until you're able to X out. And then what you want to do is take care of the loud motorcycle outside of your window. So to do that, once we finally get out of the phone, you can swipe the donut in order to bring the blinds away and go through the window. And this is your first little introduction into the game. As you can see, we're controlling the small hole. We're going to just, you know, swallow up the items that we can. Currently, the small items on screen are going to be easily taken care of. And then we can grow into the bigger letters. And now we can take care of the word donut. At this point, we'll be able to swallow up the little picket fence as well as all the little grass and tennis balls in the uh, field as well. And eventually our goal here is to get big enough to swallow up the motorcycle. Now there is an achievement or trophy for getting one of each item. However, there is an item in each level that kind of ends the level early. So make sure that you try to grab all of the items in a level before finishing it when possible. Just tap through A and keep tapping through. Whenever possible, if you just mash the A button as fast as possible, you'll get through the cutscenes, the dialogue, and all that stuff, you know, more quickly than if you were to not mash the A button. So I will be pretty much mashing the A button through all of the text conversations, all of the cutscenes, and all of the dialogue. This will save me probably around 30 minutes of time. And obviously, if you're mashing along with me, your video should line up with mine. However, if I am going too quickly at any point in the game and you are watching on a full browser, there is a speed option on YouTube for you to watch the video at 75% speed, which should be a little bit easier to follow uh, should you find yourself pausing the video pretty often. But with the uh, combination of the video 
as well as the pretty simple gameplay and hopefully my voice commentary. You shouldn't have to pause the game too much. All right, so the first level, you're gonna press A to deploy the hole. And similar to all of the other levels, uh, you basically just have to grow bigger. So for the first area here, we're just gonna grab all the smaller items and then eventually we, once we do grab all of the items in an area, either the level will end or it will transport us to a new area in that same level. So for this level, once we do grab all these items, and there, there are physics on everything, so you can kind of throw things around, you can fold up the suitcases, you can knock over cups and whatnot, so you're going to definitely use that to your advantage. But in this level, when you do clear out the first area, you're going to then clear out the second area, and the idea for this level is to basically get so big that you can swallow up all of the rocks and the house in the middle, the house in the middle and the rocks, and, and once you do clear everything, that's what's going to clear the level for you. You make your way into the backyard, you swallow up everything here as well. Now there is an achievement or trophy we will be able to attain here, and it you might see a hot air balloon in the background, and that's what's going to relate to um, that, but once we get there, we will get there. Just keep working your way through the level for now. Once you get to this screen, you want to swallow up the big fire pit, and then that'll cause hot air to rise out of the hole. And if you position it underneath the hot air balloon, the hot air balloon will rise and then separate itself from the rock. And that is an achievement or trophy that you'll probably want to grab. I believe you do have to do this in order to complete the level. I wasn't able to complete the level without uh, saving the hot air balloon though. Uh, but once you do that, you should break apart a couple rocks, you should grow in size and be able to swallow up more rocks, eventually the house, and end the level. Now every time you finish a level, you'll be brought to this screen, which you can for the most part completely ignore. You'll be given a rank, but it doesn't really do a lot in terms of the actual gameplay. There's also a Trashopedia button, which I'd recommend ignoring for now. And what I would just recommend is you go and click the Done button as soon as you can, and that'll bring you to the small cutscenes in between levels, which like I mentioned before, you can just mash through using the buttons. Or if you actually want to pay attention to the story, that's up to you, obviously. Feel free to do so until you are brought to the next level. And then you can deploy your hole again. Now this level kind of introduces a couple of new mechanics in terms of like getting a puzzle to be solved. Uh, at first, you just want to swallow up all of the rocks, the grass, and the snakes until you are brought over to the second area. In the second area, you'll eventually be able to swallow up the snake and then the snake's little kind of tentacle arm will rise out of the hole and now you can interact with objects here. 
What you want to do is first you can interact with the chicken on the left by clicking the button next to him. That'll blow a horn and scare him off and it'll raise the snake danger meter one step. Next up, what you can do is take the snake on the swing and swing him all the way around, making him do a loop-de-loop. -loop. And when you do that, it'll scare that chicken off and he will also raise the snake danger meter. For the last chicken, what you wanna do is rotate the sign in order for the pin to come out of the ground. And doing that will scare the last chicken and raise the last snake danger to its maximum level. At this point, you should now be able to just finish up the level by swallowing everything on the map. The next level does introduce a new mechanic, and what you want to do is just start off by grabbing everything you can, the little rocks, the little pieces of grass, the fish, the dog, and uh, that'll bring you to the second area. And you'll notice in the second area there is a lot of water, and going over the water fills your hole with water, and when there's water in the hole, you cannot pick up items. So you have to learn how to clear this water out of your hole. And to do that, what you need to do is feed the water to the bird in the background. So you can kind of see, um, I'm filled with water, and then once I go to the bird, he'll drink it out. Now, the bigger the hole, the more water I swallow up. So it is definitely advantageous to try to grow the hole as much as possible before trying to clear all of the water out of the level. And that's all you really need to know for this level. Again, you fill up your uh, hole with water, let the bird drink the water out, and then swallow up everything you can. There are some things kind of hidden behind the trailer. You will need to grab like the, the pieces of wood inside of the water and uh, you will need to clear the water from inside of like the sewer drain on the left. And then uh, once you do all that and you get rid of everything, the level is done. This one's pretty simple, but it, it is kind of more of a tutorial level to teach you how to interact with uh, certain items. All right, so this level is kind of cool. It's not hard by any means, but you'll start off with swallowing all of the little items. You'll notice that there is some corn in the background and you'll notice that there's a fireplace. And we're gonna make popcorn and you know have a little bit of a chemical reaction. You'll see. But basically grab all the small things, the rocks, the dirt, everything around. Then you can grab the two pieces of like crates that stack up on the corn, which will spin, spill out the corn itself. Swallow up the corn, and now you should be able to swallow up the fire. And once you do that, the fire will light the corn inside, and popcorn will shoot out of the hole. And once it shoots out of the hole, you can swallow it back up, and you can grow in size because of this. And there will also be some crows that come down to pick up the popcorn, which you can also swallow in order to grow in size. 
and at this point you can pretty much uh, you should be able to fit most items uh, into yeah so sometimes physics do throw items into the air by the way uh, you'll need to come catch them when they fall uh, but more or less once you do that you should be growing in size pretty rapidly here and being able to quickly finish off the level you'll notice that there is still heat inside of your hole because of the gas and whatnot so you're still technically kind of on fire Alright, so this is the Bunny Love level. I made up that name my, on my own just now. But you'll start off, swallow all the rocks so you can get to a big enough size to swallow the carrot that's in the ground. And then you basically become the carrot and all of the rabbits or the bunnies are attracted to that carrot. So what we'll do is, you know, we'll get a big enough size here. We'll grab the carrot and then we'll go over to the rock to get one of the bunnies to jump down from the rock. And after that, we also need to get the blue bunny out of the pen. So to get the blue bunny out of the pen, you'll have to go around kind of counterclockwise in order for him to follow you out of the gate. And then you can lead him up the ramp. And then once you do that, any minute now, they will eat the carrot. And once they eat the carrot, any minute now, there we go. The, the hole will get slightly bigger and then you can swallow both of them up and they will duplicate to say the least and cause more bunnies to be made which also grows the size of the hole allowing you to swallow bigger and bigger objects now and you'll notice there are some more rabbits kind of on the rocks to the right and to the left and you'll be able to grab them as well as you grow eventually you'll be big enough to just finish off the level similar to all of the other levels All right, so in this level, there is a missable achievement. You'll notice that there is a crow sitting on a barbecue on the left of the screen, and he will throw down coals. So after you swallow up the fire pit, and if you pick up a coal, your hole will turn into like a blazing fire. And what we need to do is we need to light the trailer on fire with our hole. So I swallowed up the fire. I tried to smoke out the trailer and realized I needed to be lit on fire. So I swallowed up the coal and then fire starts blazing and we can start lighting things up. What you wanna do is you wanna light up the trailer. You also wanna light up all of the trees. The achievement 
and trophy description says to light up the trailer but it seems like they actually want you to light everything so just keep going back for coal and making sure to light everything on fire try to avoid swallowing things up until you get your achievement or trophy to unlock for some reason it actually does seem like maybe all i did light on fire was the chair and not all of the the actual trailer itself but once you light everything on fire you'll get pyro and then you'll be able to finish off the level and proceed the level itself is pretty simple just swallow things up until you grow big enough to get everything All right, so for this level, we have fireworks. So what you can do here is if you kind of sit underneath the firework pit, it will light the firework, and then you can swallow up the firework, and it'll shoot up directly straight up. What you want to do is swallow the firework and shoot it up into the birds that are sitting on the telephone wire. You do need to swallow a couple of things to be big enough to swallow up the firework, though. So keep that in mind. Once you knock off the birds, uh, you'll be able to swallow them up and grow in size quite significantly. Now there is another mechanic similar to this. Uh, you will be using the firework mechanic quite often, but once we swallow up all three birds, the camera will kind of switch and we will need to take the firework, we'll need to light it, swallow it, and go underneath this little cliff. You'll be able to see the shadow of the cliff on the ground and we need to hit the cliff a total of three times to destroy it. And once we destroy the cliff three times, it'll break apart and uh, we'll be able to finish off the level by swallowing everything up. All right, so this next level is pretty straightforward. There is a missable achievement in it, but we will actually be doing it after the game through level select because it requires you to beat the level without picking up all of the items, but we need to pick up all of the items in order to complete the Trashopedia. So in order to be safe, what I'm gonna do is pick up everything during this playthrough, and then at the end, I'm going to replay this level without picking up the radio, which is the item we need to not pick up should we want the actual achievement or trophy. Now, at the beginning of the level, you'll talk to this crocodile guy, and you'll just keep replying until the phone conversation is exhausted, and then you'll be able to start the level. Now, at the beginning, you'll see these little eyes, and those are actually like invisible geckos that are blending in. You'll have to swallow the smaller ones, and then the medium ones, and then the large ones. The large ones can be a little bit hard to fit in the hole because they're almost the same size as the hole. 
So you kind of have to trap them and then they'll they'll fall in eventually. Um, but you'll go through this part, you'll go through the second part, and there's not really anything crazy about this level. You just have to grow, you know, in the right in the right way, making sure to swallow up the smaller items and then make your way bigger and bigger and bigger until there's absolutely nothing left on the map. The Chicken Barn is the next level. This does introduce quite a few new mechanics. At the beginning of the level, just swallow up everything you can and you will be automatically interrupted by a kind of cutscene text message conversation thing and that will be mandatory. And then at that screen, there's a couple of things we'll do. Just swallow up all of the little items for now. After swallowing up all of the little items, you'll not be able to proceed. You'll be brought to a conversation with the raccoon. Keep replying until you are taken to the store. And at the store, we need to buy two things. One of them is the... Ca we can actually only afford two things. We're basically forced to buy two things. Um, and in the store, we'll want to buy the catapult, which we'll be able to afford, as well as the gamer drink or the energy drink. And the catapult is required for further progress through the game. And the energy drinks are required for an optional achievement or trophy, which will unlock as you buy it. Now what the catapult does is basically it allows us to suck something in and then we can interact with our hole to shoot it back up. And we'll need to do that in order to interact with switches and stuff like that. So right now inside of our hole we have the chicken that we swallowed up earlier. Um, this is a clip that I took from one of my first playthroughs, so I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, the, the actual video is a couple of different clips. We'll be able to shoot out the crate and then destroy it by not letting it land back in the hole. And then we'll be able to swallow up all of the parts inside. And we'll be able to do that again in order to break the chicken out of its cage and swallow the chicken back up. Once we do that, we should be uh, quite a bit bigger in size, and we should now also be transported to the other side of the barn. What we'll want to do here is we'll want to shoot the chicken up near this gate, and then we'll want to pull the switch down in order to let the chicken fall inside of the barn. This is required in order to complete the level and bring us over here to the other side. Now what we want to do here is we want to catch an egg and then shoot the egg up into the air in order to hit the switch that is on the side of the door near the top of the barn. As you can see, one egg is coming out at a time, 
and what we want is we just want unlimited eggs to shoot out of the uh, thing. So we'll catch an egg here, we'll flick the switch, and eggs will just start spilling out. And what we'll need to do is we'll need 36 eggs to be broken on the ground in order to unlock an optional achievement or trophy. So just wait until that unlocks and then you can swallow up the eggs in order to grow in size. Don't worry, the eggs are basically unlimited until uh, you are the right size for the game to stop spawning them. Once you are full on eggs, you should be able to swallow up the rest of the level quite easily in order to complete it. This is another easy level where you can't miss anything, but it does require you to use the catapult and will teach you a new mechanic. So when you swallow up the frog, you can catapult the frog up and the frog will shoot its tongue and grab onto certain items. For example, he really likes flies. So once you swallow up the frog and you use him to capture flies, He'll also grow in size, and once he grows in size and comes back into the hole, your hole will grow, and etc., and etc., and etc. At the end, there is a guy hanging on the tree, which you'll need to grab with the frog. Uh, that is a little bit hit or miss, and I not I'm not exactly sure what makes the guy fall off the tree. He should fall off if your frog is of maximum size, but for some reason for me, he kind of took his time. So I edited out a little bit of uh, that, but you should be able to grab him off of the tree when he's swinging down. And if you catch him at the full like swing down of his trajectory, it should pull him right off that ledge and finish it off. So here you see the frog. I'm shooting the frog into the, um, the bees nests and releasing the bees. And then I'm shooting the frogs into the bees to capture the bees. As I'm doing this, the, gro the frog is growing larger and my hole is growing larger. And once, I'm, once I finish off everything, I'm able to now swallow the log and then go to the next area of this level. And in the next area of this level, there is further bees and further flies to capture. And, and here's where I was mentioning that guy on the tree. He's going to be one of the last things you need to grab because of the size and the weight of frog required to pull him down. So, yeah, just make sure you pull him down and uh, it can be a little bit tricky to get it to function properly. But otherwise, the level's pretty straightforward. Okay, so this next level is called Cat Soup. There is an indoor and an outdoor section, and in the indoor section, there is a missable achievement or trophy. At any point, if you do miss anything or you get really confused and you want to just restart the level, you can pause and restart the level, which is something I did for this level 
probably three or four times before I figured out exactly what was going on. You do need to swallow up all of the water. In this case, the water doesn't actually fill up your hole. Once you swallow up the chef and all of the water and all of the little items, you'll be brought inside. And what we need to do here is we need to make a specific type of soup. So swallow the three things in the middle and then pull the switch on the right of the screen in order to fill the pot on the left and then move close to the pot in order to fill your hole. Now at the back of the screen, you'll notice that there is a salt shaker and a pepper shaker. And what we need to do is create a specific recipe using two salt and three pepper. And it can be very hard to tell how many times the game has counted each one. The best way to count is the amount of bugs on your screen. For each bug on the screen, that was one ingredient. So there's one bug right now, that means I got one pepper. However, right here, two bugs spawned, which means I probably got two salt. Now I need to finish off the recipe with two more peppers. So that's three pepper and two salt. And again, count the bugs to determine how many of each you have. What you're looking for is for the recipe to turn a bright orange. At that point, you are ready to feed it to the bird. If it's not the right recipe, you will not be successful. I have the purple recipe now with five bugs. I feed it to the bird, and it is so good that the bird is literally brought to the verge of tears. And this will allow me to basically complete the level. And uh, yeah, just swallow up everything on the outside. You'll unlock your achievement or trophy for making the right soup. And you are good to go to the next one now. At this point in the game, you'll unlock a quadcopter. The quadcopter is just kind of a part of the story more than any any type of mechanic or anything. Uh, you'll go through the conversations, they'll talk about it. You'll go fly the drone or the quadcopter, it'll crash. Um, and then you can swallow it up and finish off the level. There is an achievement or a trophy in this level, but I don't think you can miss it. It is for swallowing up the donut shop, which is kind of the main item in the level. Uh, it's probably the last item you also want to swallow up. It is the biggest, so it'll probably be the last one you get anyways. Um, but yeah, just go through this level. It's going to be pretty simple, pretty basic. Um, and you're off to the next one. Thank you. 
All right, so this level kind of sucks. It's my least favorite in the game easily. It takes place pretty much completely in the dark. What you want to do is you'll start off the level by going inside of the house. You'll notice three candles, and you'll want to swallow up all three of the candles. Once you do that, the fridge door will open, and it'll produce some light showing you a flashlight, and you'll be able to pick up the flashlight off the ground. So here I'm picking up the three candles, and then once I do that again, on the left of the screen, you'll notice a flashlight spawn. And you'll need to pick up the flashlight, and the flashlight will cause some light to come out of the hole. However, the flashlight is on a battery, and that battery can be killed. And if the battery runs out, you have to go back to the fridge and swallow up a new battery that'll spawn. Additionally, there is a cat on the level that tries to scare you, and if he scares you, it'll also bring out your light. So as you see, I have no light right now because I got scared by the cat. I'm going to cycle back to the fridge in order to pick up the battery. When I pick up the battery, it recharges the flashlight in my hole. All you want to do is you may want to make your way around the level really slowly. Just make sure you're picking up everything that's of the right size. If you do get scared by the cat, just re-pick up the battery. And eventually, you'll be able to turn the light back on. Um, you'll, turn on you'll turn the light back on after scaring the cat a whole bunch of times and then pulling the switch. And once you pull the switch, the cat will kind of run away and you'll just finish up, finish up by mopping everything else in the room. All right, so next we are at the amusement park level, which is a pretty fun level. You'll start off by swallowing all of these smaller items, and that will cause a catapult to be automatically added to your hole. Additionally, you'll notice a gumball machine to the right of the screen with, with water balloons inside. So what we'll do is once we swallow up everything here, we'll throw a catapulted item into the little turn thing. You'll see it all happen right here. We'll catapult something into the gumball machine, We'll swallow up a water balloon. We'll then throw up the water balloon in order for it to break and fill our hole with water. And then what we can do is we can use it on this little pinwheel thing in order to bring the uh, train car up the mountain a little bit. I'm gonna just swallow up a couple more items that I can because the screen did grow a little bit bigger. And again, we're just gonna fill up the hole with water. You do need to actually like break the water balloons. Sometimes they break inside automatically, but sometimes you have to throw them up and then kind of let them break on the ground and then catch them after. Um, so yeah, as that's what I'm kind of doing right now is breaking it separately. But eventually once you bring him to the top, he will almost come down all the way to the bottom, but he will get stopped by the small area of the slide that is not connected. What we'll need to do is we'll need to fill up with water and then we will need to connect the missing piece by shooting the water up directly kind of near it or under it and then that'll connect the slide and he'll slide down all the way. So I'm just filling myself up with water here really quick and uh, I was still trying to figure out the pinwheel. This was one of the first playthroughs we had. But once you connect the, the slide, uh, he comes down, they take a picture of him and they swallow him up. 
and now you can swallow up the gumball machine and, and all that good jazz and it'll open up the level to the right hand side to the left hand side now on the left hand side you'll notice the large um ferris wheel sorry my vocabulary today my brain's just not quite working You'll also notice the small little uh, ticket booth, and the ticket booth is really hard to swallow, although it is possible. Feel free to just leave it for later. What you want to do is you just want to fill yourself up with water, and you're going to spin the Ferris wheel as fast as possible. So to do that, you'll need to do it three times, and you'll have some really loud music and whatnot happen when you're doing it correctly. Just go to the sewer, fill yourself up with water, spin the Ferris wheel, do that a total of three times, it'll kind of explode and be shot into the castle in the background. The castle in the background will shatter and then everything in the map will kind of explode into smaller pieces and then you'll be able to pick everything up and finish off the level. All right, next up is the traffic jam level. You'll start off with a really small car and a couple of small items. Pick up all the small items around the car, and then you should be able to, with a little bit of physics, kind of spill the car just barely into the hole. You will also need to pick the coffee cup off of the car. Uh, but getting the car to kind of slide in can be a little bit difficult, but does take a little bit of jiggling, to say the, le the least. After that, you'll be transported here. Pick up all of the raccoons and all the little stuff in order to be transported to the last area where I will rejoin you with commentary. All right, so in the last area, what you wanna do is you wanna catapult the donut into the raccoon that's taking the pictures. So it's kinda of like the middle raccoon, and he will make, he will drop the camera when you hit him. And now you wanna catapult the camera at each of the raccoons, and it will flash them with the camera flash, causing them to crash. Get all three of them to crash with the flashed camera, and then swallow them up. And after you do that, you'll be able to catapult all three of them onto the hot air balloon. So, again, we got the flash from the one raccoon. We flashed all three of them to grab the raccoons. Then we used all three raccoons on the hot air balloon. And then the uh, boss raccoon will come down with his little harpoon. And we'll need to flash him twice in a row here. So one time, it we missed. A second time, you kind of have to wait for him to be uh, low enough for it to work. And once it works, he'll also crash, and then you will be able to pick him up. All his little items, make sure you pick up all the items first, and then toss him into the hot air balloon to bring it down as well to finish off the level. Uh, and then make sure you also grab all of the cars that are in the traffic jam um, as they try to escape. You don't really have to do much here, just kind of park your hole right in the middle of the highway. And uh, I believe people use the word freeway in the U.S. And uh, yeah, once all the cars are gone, you're done the level.
So you'll have this kind of like long little cutscene and cinematic, a text message. Once you wrap that up, you'll be in front of like the raccoon headquarters. What you wanna do is swallow up all of the little items kind of in the bottom left hand corner there. And once you are no longer able to swallow anything up, there will be a small little break in the gameplay. And you guys in the hot air balloon will kind of start talking to each other. And one of them will recommend like a hacking device. So the, you'll, you'll see it's all gonna happen here on screen in like a second so I've swallowed up everything we zoom out uh, you know I can't proceed so they're gonna drop a hacking device and I'm gonna swallow up the hacking device and then I'm gonna launch it into the camera and when I launch into the camera I will get hacked into the building that'll also unlock an achievement or trophy which uh, Now, once we are in the building, there's a lot of like different rooms. Just pick up all of the small items you can. And once you do that, just exit out of the small little trap door into the hallway, then go into the main hall room. Once in the main hall room, swallow up all the little items you can, and then go into the right hand side door, which I believe is security. And once in the security room, you will be able to uh, swallow up a bunch of items in here and if you grow in a big enough size you will be able to now catapult stuff once you're able to catapult stuff catapult something into the shelf in the top left of the screen and you'll pick up a red key now you want to make your way <clears throat> back to the main hall and go into the biology lab which is the red door when you catapult near the door you will use the key card in order to gain access now this room can be a little bit complicated, a little bit confusing, but it's actually not bad at all. Start off with all of the little items first, and your goal here is to swallow up the snake near the middle in order to cause him to have a tentacle arm. Now once he has a tentacle arm, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go up to the big kind of array of buttons, and you'll want to click up, left, down, left, and then click grab as quickly as possible. If done correctly, you will get a cinematic, but it also can be not done correctly. So I'm gonna try again. Up, left, down, left, grab. As you can see, if you do it too quick, it's also not good. Up, left, down, left, grab. If done correctly at a fast pace, you will get a cinematic. Uh, make sure you don't double click make sure you don't click too fast between buttons and when done correctly the door will open as shown on screen my door was already open now after doing that you are now able to actually just kind of work with the level so what you want to do is you want to use the buttons to grab all of the animals out of the small cages so grab the first set of animal grab the little bird as well and once you grab the bird a new animal will spawn and that uh, animal will be the frog so you'll want to grab the frog out of the array as well and now with the frog out you should be able to swallow up the frog as well as some items with the frog inside of your catapult I recommend that you grab all of the flies first this will allow you to grow in size quite a bit and allow you to grab all of the items in the room so grab all the flies, grab all the items near the middle, and then use the frog to let the bunnies out of the test cages. They will mate and you will be able to swallow all of them up in the room and then swallow all of them up in the hallway as well.
Now, once we're kicked out of the biology room, like I was saying, grab all the bunnies. And now you want to make your way over to the security thing again, which is on the very kind of far right. So go through here, go through security and you'll swallow up this bunny right here, which had a blue key. Go into the vault room, which is now open because we did that secret passcode and you'll get a secret achievement or trophy for breaking into the vault at Raccoon HQ. Uh, you don't have to swallow up the gold in here, but it does help grow the size of your hole if you need it. And also uh, make sure you grab all the bunnies in here and make sure you grab that one bunny with the blue key. Make your way back to the hall and now go inside of anthropology in order to continue through the level. Inside of anthropology, there is quite a bit going on. We will start with the simple stuff, which is to grab everything in this first little area. Obviously, as we pretty much know, you start with the small stuff, you make your way uh, up, and then you'll go to the next area. Now you'll notice here that when I swallow the garbage, it will light a fire inside of my hole. And then what I want to do is transfer over to the next screen by finishing everything, immediately grab the firework and then launch the firework to the very left of the screen where the raccoons uh, little uh, TV is and destroying that will unlock an achievement or trophy. And then I can pick up another firework and launch it to the right hand side to break the alarm system to continue the level. Now this level is actually pretty unique. What you want to do is you want to fill yourself up with water and then you can short circuit the board on the left by parking your way just underneath it. And that'll cause the carousel in the middle to start. And you'll be able to use the bird to take the water out of the hole. And then you'll be able to uh, you know, swallow up everything you need. Make sure you swallow up everything before kind of solving the final puzzle of the area. The final puzzle of the area requires you to uh, we'll do it really quick here. We'll dump the water into the hole and then we will short circuit the board. Well, the firework will get placed and you might need to do another lap of the uh, carousel in the middle. But you'll need a fire, you'll need a firework, you'll need no water and you'll need to park yourself behind the firework for the fire pit to light the firework. Swallow the firework and let it get shot up into the vent on the right hand side to finish off this area. And now the only thing left to do is the final boss battle. Well, the only thing left to do in the game is the final boss battle, but we kind of have a couple of other things to do to grab all the achievements. We actually don't have very many of them if you haven't already noticed. Most of them are kind of all unlocked at the end of the game here. So you'll leave anthropology, you'll go through this, you know, the main door, it'll open up the boss door and then just work your way through swallowing the donuts until you engage in the boss battle. Now, on the first run of the boss battle, what we're going to do is just fail on purpose. There is an achievement called Game Over, which is for losing the boss fight. 
the best and fastest and easiest way to lose the boss fight is just to leave your cursor on the screen and he'll continue to attack you he will have to hit you a total of six times so it does take probably like three or four minutes uh, you can also try to get yourself blown up by some of these bombs but that's not actually what hurts you what hurts you is if you don't damage the copter then the copter will damage you and uh, although the first time he hits you it'll take like half your health he takes less and less and less health every time he hits you so I think it's six hits and eventually he will win so yeah just you can walk away from your television for like three minutes if you want and then come back and I will come back with commentary So after failing the boss battle, you'll get that achievement or trophy, you'll engage in a little bit of dialogue, and you'll eventually just be able to kind of restart the boss battle just where you started. And for the next achievement and trophy, uh, we'll want to beat the boss, which is obviously something we'll need to do to beat the game, but we also have to beat the boss without getting hit. Might sound difficult, the boss battle is quite easy, and should you get hit or make a mistake, just press pause and press restart level and start the boss battle again. You'll be able to do it quite quickly. Now, the boss battle itself, uh, like I said earlier, not too bad. What we want to do is you just want to always be moving around when he's trying to laser in on you and pour cement in the hole so that you can make sure that you remain open. Now, once he starts dropping the bombs, what you want to do is make sure you go for the little one and swallow it up. And once... Once you swallow it up, just shoot it up at him to hit him. Now, because this game is technically like 3D, it, your instinct will be to try to like land underneath the bomb, but it's actually harder to do that than to just follow the shadow of the bomb underneath it. So what I'd recommend is like, again, you'll have another phase here where you have to escape the cement. You'll launch a bunch of bombs. Instead of trying to catch the bomb in 3D space, all you want to do is just focus on the shadow of the bomb pick up the bomb and you want to hit the, the the copter also you do have to make sure he's not actively moving or you'll miss like I just did on screen you will hit him a total of three times in order to kill him and that will then bring us to the next little thing uh, there's a little bit of a maze that spawns so make sure you're just always kind of escaping from the cement Now, after destroying him, you'll have another small kind of cinematic thing, 
and eventually you'll be brought back to control the hole again and you'll be given a hacking device you want to swallow up the hacking device and then throw it at the quadcopter in order to hack it hacking the quadcopter will cause it to start dropping a bunch of bombs all you want to do is you want to swallow up all of the bombs and hit him with all five of them i think there's actually six but there's actually one hidden right behind him which you can't really see uh, you'll notice that the bombs kind of start ticking faster and faster and faster But I don't think you can actually fail this section and if you do feel free to just restart um, You'll grab all the bombs you'll hit them with all six of them and you are done the boss battle You will get an achievement for completing it You'll get an achievement for completing it without getting hit and then you'll become a tornado and When you are the tornado you just want to swallow up all of the little pieces and uh, at this point right here, after swallowing up the last piece, go all the way to the left of the screen and destroy this statue. You have to destroy the statue for a missable achievement or trophy, and you actually don't need to destroy the statue in order to proceed through the level. At that point, you are now ready to just smash through the building, and once you completely smash through the building, you are technically uh, done the game and you will unlock the win the boss fight achievement or trophy. After completing the final boss fight, we do have a little bit more to go. We'll have a small cinematic here where we start launching everyone into the sky. And we'll do that kind of step by step by step. I think you have to do about seven or eight different launches, including launching ourself. And that will uh, kind of complete the game. And we will claim the redeemed achievement slash trophy which is awarded for bringing back everyone from the underground. So just keep tabbing through this until you are uh, above ground. Now, once above ground, you will be a drone. And what you want to do is while you are this drone, you want to fly through the donut hole. So you'll use the right stick to gain altitude and then the left stick to kind of steer yourself forward and fly through the donut hole in order to unlock an achievement or trophy here. Then you'll want to locate the anchor that's sitting in the middle of the area and you will just want to follow it up. And this anchor is tied to a kind of ship in the sky where the raccoons are. And when you get to that raccoon's ship, you will get the escape achievement or trophy for finding the Trash King's secret getaway vehicle. And uh, it, it is a bit of a way up. You'll have to kind of get past the clouds. It'll take you around 30, 40 seconds probably. Uh, but there's nothing you have to do once you get up there. You just kind of observe what's in front of you and it should automatically unlock. Once that automatically unlocks, you can press the X button to power down the drone in order to click yes and finish the game. Now, once you finish the game, you will be given the, uh, you know, the end credits. There are some things still to do really, really quick. And at the end of the credits, you will be asked, would you like to look through your Trashopedia? And the answer you have to answer is yes. So just let this go through. The credits aren't very long at all. I'm gonna actually keep all of them in. I think they're only 20 or 30 seconds. So just for the sake of you not having to pause the video, I'm gonna keep them in full. 
And at the end of the game right here, you'll see, congratulations, you've unlocked the Trashopedia menu. Would you like to open it? You click yes, and then you want to click the arrow to the right, and you have to go through every single item in the game. If you want to race me to see who can click the A button faster, feel free to do so. But I'm essentially mashing the A button as fast as I possibly can. You do have to go through every item individually in order for this achievement or trophy to unlock. So on your way through the game, hopefully you picked up everything uh, in order to complete every level. There are some things you can technically miss, although it is quite difficult to miss them. And if you are missing anything specifically, you should be able to see what you're missing, go to that level and then pick up what you're missing. If you do have all the items at the end of the Trashopedia, you should unlock the achievement for uh, completing the Trashopedia, it's called Nerd, and it is actually worth quite a bit of uh, points. Now you can go to Level Select, and the Level Select we want to go to is called Gecko Park. We want to play Gecko Park, and for the last achievement or trophy, we need to do something called Music Lover. Finish Gecko Park without collecting the radio. So there is a radio on the second area. And what we need to do is we need to complete the area without getting the radio. It can be a little bit difficult because we do need to get the crate from underneath the radio. And you'll need to use the physics a little bit here. What I did was I picked up everything except for the crate and the radio. And then at the very end, I kind of nicked the crate underneath the radio with a lot of speed. And I was able to separate them. And then when I had them separated, I picked up the crate to finish off the level and unlock the achievement as well. You will need to go through all of the phone and text conversation with the alligator again, which is kind of lame, but uh, part of the level nonetheless. And upon doing that, you should have your 1,000 out of 1,000, your 20 achievements out of 20, or your platinum trophy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. As always, I do ask that you drop a like if the video was helpful. Likes do help YouTube videos quite a bit, and it's always appreciated if you guys could do that. Drop a share if you have a friend who you think might want to complete this game or if they're missing a couple of achievements or trophies. Thank you guys so much for watching. A super ultra special thank you to the people on Patreon who make videos like this possible. And hopefully I see you guys next time. Peace.